in between? Have we ever said, talked about something being midway? How do you determine the value of something that's midway between two numbers? What do you guys do? You add and do what? You add them and divide by two. Remember that? What do you add? You add what? The elf and L plus first data value in the sorted list. So I'm going to have to go look for what? Data values. What is the ELF and L plus first data value? Well, what's the value of L? It's 15. So I have to look at the values. What's the 15th and the 16th? 15 is 118. What's the 16? 118. Oh. What's midway between 118 and 118? The answer is simple. What is it? It's 118. Here's the deal. I want to point a few things out. Do you always get this phenomena? No. It could be different values. What happens when it's different? You still find what's midway between two different numbers. And furthermore, don't approximate your answer, OK? Whatever, that, whatever you get here by this sum and division of 2 is your answer. So don't change it. That's your answer. That's the first thing I want to say. See, what's the second thing? The second thing is this. You know what the biggest mistake people make on this? You guys know what the biggest mistake is? I don't even want to write it down. Some people put 15 plus 16. And they find the number midway between 15 and 16. They put 15.5. Wrong. Why is it wrong? They're not looking at the what? The, all the language. They're not looking at the fine print. They're not looking at the, what's the fine print? The ELF and L plus first data value in the sorted list. So you're looking for data values on that list. You're not looking for the position 15 plus 16. It's the data values. OK, you guys OK with that? And back here, some people give this error. They say, oh, the answer is 23. Incomplete process. OK, so the point I'm making is, you see this step two? That's the complete process. It's not over just because you did step one correct. And some of you guys, if you do step one correct and you don't do step two correct, how much credit do you get? Zero. Why? Well, because I don't grade it that way. Why is that? Well, if you work a job, right, <laughs> what happens when you do that stuff? They fire you, don't they? Can you only do things halfway all the time in that job and then they keep you? What do they do eventually? Huh? What do they do? They get rid of you, right? In the real world, they get rid of you. Do you have to be accurate in the real world? You guys know that? The answer is yes. You got to be accurate. You got, this is a cruel world. I, I'll, be, I'll be the first to tell you. You guys are still too young, so you guys don't know this. We're the older people here. Right, nobody. Oh, okay, we got one. Is this a cruel world? It's very cruel. Is this cruel? You raise your hand and you're older. I'm not picking on you. Yeah. Are you older? You look like 18 to me. I'm 22. 22, okay. <laughs> Who's older here? Who else is older? Everybody in the room is 25. <laughs> what 25 is and older. <laughs> if you're 25, I still think what? Yeah. You don't know what I'm talking about. Eddie, is this a cruel world? <laughs> this is a cruel, vicious world. And some of you guys are just, stay where you're at. You're like, really, I look at you kind of, you guys, are, you guys, it's bliss for you guys. You know that? Because you don't realize how what, how cruel and bad things really are. So I'm here to tell you, in my cruel world, or in our cruel world, if you give a half answer like that, oh, forget it. The wolves are coming. 
you got to give the you got to give the right answer and it's only because that I know this I know what you're facing so I can't I can't send you out into the cold without a blanket and a bow and arrow because I know what will happen to you if you if you go there that way because the world is what very cruel and um, picky and unfair is that accurate Eddie <laughs> So you guys are lucky. If you don't know that yet, good. You guys are lucky. Just be prepared. OK, this is what you guys are going to do. Yeah. Oh, good. You see the value of Al? What's Al? 15. What's the next score? See, this is another way of saying what happens when you add 1 to L? It's, it's another way of saying the next higher number. You see what I mean? L is 15. 15 plus 1 is 16. It's like this consecutive in algebra, consecutive numbers, x, x plus 1, n, n plus 1. That's another way of saying take the Lth value and the next higher one. Find, oh, find what? Find those values, not 15 and 16, but the data scores, the 15th and the 16th data value, on your sorted list, find what's midway. OK? This is what you guys are going to do. You guys are going to determine the following. P10. P25. Do we do P75? Do we do P75? P7. We did? Oh, where is it? Oh, yeah, we did. We did. P50. Okay, 25. P90. P90. Okay, P90. And P85. See what you guys get. Pause it. See, I have, I have marks on my face for that stuff. You see, <laughs> scratch me here. All this happens. Okay, here we go. All right, let's see. Let's go through this procedure, right? All right, um, which one are we looking at? We're going to do first. K is what here? K is 10, is that right? What's N? 30. So. Al is going to be 0.1 times 30, or Al is going to be what? 3. Is that a whole number? Yes. Yeah, so what do you do if it's a whole number? Anybody know? What do you do if it's a whole number? You guys have to tell me, remember? This isn't church. <laughs> this isn't church. You guys have to tell me. I have to locate what? Two values from the sorted list, the third and 